Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiser Rick is updated to 0.8. Divided States. The focus is on the American Civil War. As you can see, you got the little splits here. I don't quite know why this guy's like weeping over a flag or something. What's it resting? I don't, I don't know. But we're going to be playing a new Kaiser Rick series on this channel. My Argentina series is kind of on the back burner right now because I'm kind of feeling like I can't really do anything about it. We're going to be playing as the US. We've got Herbert Hoover currently ruling. Oh, baby. I, d I haven't played the U.S. in a little while, but there are quite a lot of choices we can go down in this route. I'm really excited to see like what happens in the game. I'm not going to go Iron Man mode because I know there are some bugs in this edition at the moment. USA! USA! So let's go into it. Regular difficulty in Iron Man, and we're going to play out the Civil War and see what happens. Oh, that was loud! So I don't 100% know how, how well this is balanced just yet. I don't know why that's picking up. A Steam friend called Oliver is now playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive because I don't care. I don't care that Oliver's playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's just going to stick there. Okay, cool. So I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to be doing. If we're going to stick with the CSA, or we're going to go to the American Union State, or the Feds. We'll find out. Uh, so Divide States. This is... For months now, our team has worked on every corner of the world to bring this mod to you. Hope you enjoy playing it and did making it. Uh-huh. Also, the mod is designed to the assumption the player will always annex all possible states and peace treaties. So make sure you do that. We also start to money this is still alpha, so expect bugs, crashes, and various headaches if, when, you encounter any of these, don't report it. Okay, don't forget to report it. Thank you, Kaiserag team. Oh, do you guys have a super useful FAQ? Wow. All puppeting is now done through events. One patch every three months. Why are the models back? Black. Okay. To expert my saves? Well, obviously. News events, I want to know everything, and welcome to our new home. And it's because the mod has moved and changed places. Okay, so, my god, we start with literally nothing. We start in the United States of America, we are an 18% your social liberal popular popularity. Uh, the Republicans are Herbert Hoover. Man, our party popularity is just, it's just garbage. So, victory of the Civil War, obviously can't do that, can't do a fair deal. Wait, can I not get any of these focuses just yet? Monroe Doctrine. Can you not do any of the focuses until you do the Civil War? Because Civil War takes a little while. Alright, let's go U.S. Air Force, I guess. I don't know. So, this is first flavor fight in Kitty Hawk. Okay. Let's get those researches. The uh, pretty standard stuff. Standard, like, industry beginnings. Oh, that logo for land doctrines changed for some reason. The superior firepower. And we're going to get some civilian factories. So that's actually military factories, Alger Hill. What are you doing? Get some in Pennsylvania. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to kind of build factories all over the place. Try and make this a bit more of a balanced start. I don't mind doing that. Yeah, it's a, it's a slow start. And with the remaining factories, we'll just get uh, the spicy M1 Garens. And of course, we have our little garbage infantry divisions. Actually, they're not too bad, honestly. Uh, we might need some more artillery, actually. There you go. Boom. Oh, why did I get maximum efficiency? Nice. Thanks. Turn down these bombers. Let's do it. United States. In 36, America is gripped by the unrelenting crisis. Although unable to avoid the horrors of the First Gulf which allowed its propensity to continue well into the 1920s, German victory in the First Gulf called by French and British revolutions, led to the Wall Street Crash of 25. My mustache is just a little bit too long right now. It's starting to tickle my nose. This sense of the U.S. spiraling to the Great Depression allowed the Berlin stock market to take its place as the forefront of the world's economy. The election of Herbert Hoover in 28, while initially promising, failed entirely to reverse the decline of the American economy. And by 1936, the country has spent over a decade in the midst of the worst financial crisis it has ever seen. This fueled the rise of radical parties in America, from the far-left Socialist Party of America to the far-right America first. How Hoover's contentious re-election by means of the House of Representatives in 32, and the ongoing Great Depression means that these problems are unlikely to be resolved anytime soon. Many throughout the country fear the upheaval that will result in one of the more extreme parties coming to power, or should the Depression continue unabated. God save America. That's right. God save me, America. Assassination of President Kerensky. What? No, how could that happen? I could never have foreseen this. Huey Long speaks. Huey, Huey. 
Democratic Party and Republican Party were just like the old patent medical drummers, medicine drummer that used to come around our country. He had two bottles of medicine. He played the banjo and he'd sell two bottles of medicine. One of these bottles was medicine was called high popularum and the other of his bottles was called low popularum. What? Finally, someone around there said, is there any difference between these bottles of medicines? Oh, it's considerable. They're both good, but they're different. The high popularum is made from the bark of a tree that we take from the top down and the low popularum is taken from the bark that we take from the root up. And the only difference that I found between the Democrat leadership and the Republican leadership was that one of them was skidding you from the ankle up and the other from the ear down when I got to Congress. Oh, baby. That's my Huey. That's my Huey. That's my Huey. If only he hadn't been assassinated, he could have done so much good. <laughs> so much good. All right, gonna get some uh, infantry divisions training. Totalist charter, no one cares. Ever the eighth crown, it's good for you. I haven't played Kaiserreich in a while, actually. It's been a few weeks. Pretty cool. Seen it all again. Start a civil war, baby. I don't know why, but it, it feels like the texture. The texture for America just looks a lot better. I don't know why. Do I have the night mode on or off right now? I I literally, genuinely cannot tell. Province and legation cities, joint invention to China. Oh god! Yep, there it is. It was just taking a little while. The Jacobins have been elected. Oh boy, oh boy. Numerous factions arose. Mm -mm. That sounds terrible. Black Monday and the profit from legation cities. Foreign trade was left to the richest cities of the coast and a joint control of world powers. Independence, this consortium of cities was guaranteed by eight powers. Foreign investments in legation cities themselves could flourish not only with foreign trade. Great. <laughs> Great. The coalition. Black Monday hits America. This is not our year. All right, the coalition ticket. In 36, the 36th election is looking to be one of the most contentious in American history. Many politicians in the upper circle of the Republican and Democratic parties fear that a victory, but the Socialist Party or the American First Party would mean the end of America and the American way of life. In order to avoid this, a plan has been proposed within the halls of power to form a coalition ticket between the Republican and Democratic parties with progressive Senator Floyd Olson of Minnesota as the presidential candidate. This plan is unlikely to be popular with lower-ranking members of parties, but maybe the only thing can prevent the radical parties from gaining strength. That is new. Form it, or do not form it. So this is how you avoid the Civil War. I don't want to avoid the Civil War. I want the Civil War, so do not form the coalition. It's actually pretty cool. It's a very uh, cool idea. If you're fearing the rise of a socialist and an American first party, and you want to consolidate power in your traditional Republican power, you could very much uh, group them together. And by grouping them together... Ooh, women are allowed to become air pilots. Um, by grouping them together... The Democrats and Republicans, ideally, you get more of both voting for them, and they consolidate the votes. You can still get a civil war of the coalition. Ah, oh, I should have done it then. Lame. I really like the idea. Crime speed has sweeped the nation. It's been a wave of crime throughout the country. Many Democrats are getting criminals are getting sensations, news stories for their activities, especially gangsters like John Dillinger. Ooh. So the Democrat voters align with the AFP. The South is almost in the heartland Democratic Party, but the a the American First Party is joining Huey Long at length for his plans for America. Ooh, here it comes. Paramilitary militias forming. With violence and instability sweeping the country, AFP and SBA have begun to form various paramilitary militias. Ooh. Hey, Stev, what's up, man? Yeah, it's been a while. How you doing, man? How you doing, my friend? Welcome to purgatory. Well, some air. Father Kulin, CBS radio broadcast. Three years today, Father Charles Kulin became a weekly radio broadcast in America and has an audience of 50 million. He's a raving anti-Semite who claims the syndicalist revolution in France had fomented by the... Oh, Jesus. He's becoming a dangerous public. Shut him down. Lose political power. And socialists and authoritarian Democrats get 5%. And I hate what he says, but I defend his right to say it. Uh, shut him down! Shut him down! No, you stay right there, Steph. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. Nope, don't want that. The maneuvers in the Carpathians. Representatives retiring. Many Republican Democratic residents have announced that this year will be the last year in Congress. The unprecedented rate of their retirement has given hope the AFP and SBA can win these open elections. Oh boy. More SBA members announcing congressional bids. 
in the 36th election represents an unprecedented number of people registering to run for office. St. Patrick's Day flood, we must help these people. Oh boy. The Republican Party has like no popularity. The American First Party has 23. But I want the American Union Party to win. Mad Madged Lion Doe 2, thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, my friend? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Don't mind the beard, it's meant to have a beard. Exactly. The fish is meant to have a beard. All fish should have beards. Um, these are kind of terrible for me, US Navy. Pride of the world. Back to being the pride of the world. Alright. If we can at least get to the damn Civil War soon. So which way are we going? I like the idea of going with Huey Long going American Union State, but that means I don't want him to win the war. I want the Democrats to win the war, and then I want to side with the Union State. Tibet has joined the Great Khanate. Balance of power has begun to shift, strain the post Valkyrie world in long studies. Oh, okay. Alright. The Great Khanate faction. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could just grab- Oh, they went in alliance with Tibet, yeah. Stanley Cup. Why would you do that first before you grabbed my clique, buddy? What are you doing? Detroit Red Wings. Increased radicalization. Oh dear. More Americans are joining other people. And Detroit Red Wings have won Stanley's back in Hockey Town. Woo! We're going progressive stu union state for the ultimate irony. I don't know. I mean, so my beard is now tickling my nose. Mm. More FPA members announcing congressional bids. God, right now the Democratic Party has like no... There's like nothing. People in the gaming community being progressive? You get out of here. Jesus. I thought, I thought they were syndicalists. Another socialist party? I thought they were called syndicalists. Oh, they're both of them. Alright. I think what might happen now is I think Huey Long is going to win the election. Panama. Oh, oh god. Panama, precious Costa Rica. Let us intervene. May Day Riots, International Workers' Day is a holiday social party celebrates with numerous parades and speeches. I think I want Jack Reed to win, and I want to be a part of the Civil War against Jack Reed. The SBA are at fault. The police are at fault. Yeah. I appear to have threatened Costa Rica with war. Didn't do a thing. It did nothing at all. I don't really want to make a choice right now, so I'll just go pilot training. Just so the Democrats win and invite Reed and Huey to talks. I'd have won the Civil War, though. Progressives flock to the SPA. Ooh. I want a three-way Civil War. A special election in Washington. Change in popularity, John McKay. I just go, it's just the Battle of the Overpass. Detroit, Michigan, the automotive capital of the world. They were striking as unionism, not foreignism, meaning higher pay. At 2 p.m. today, a photographer from the Detroit Free Press asked to take a photo of the leaders. Uh, when they were opposing a group of 40 men from the Ford Service Department, approached them from behind and began to beat them with their batons. A group came to attack and some beret wearing beret women were present, present to hash out leaflets. Oh dear. In the car that speaks to Hoover, a car was talking to President Hoover about a contingency plan called War Plan White to do an armed uprising. The plan would call on MacArthur to take emergency action to protect the country. While well, the plan has obviously not been endorsed by the public, we have it as a contingency. All right, oh. my friend, I am here. How are you doing? Hey, what's up, colonists? Welcome back to the stream. What is up, my buddy? All right, we're on our way to that civil war. Give me that superior doctrine. A little bit of lag there. Get some concentrated. Nice. The death of Big Bale Haywood. The death of one of the titans industrial workers of the world, William Big Bay Bill Haywood, has passed. His death has marked the marking of a torch. Elizabeth Gurley Flynn spoke at the funeral, saying, History has a long-range perspective. It ultimately passes stern judgment on tyrants and vindicates those who fought, <gasps> suffered, were imprisoned, and died for human freedom against political oppression and economic slavery. Get MacArthur to coup. That's the hope. Many other leaders within various union organizations, including his rivals in the AFL, also spoke at his funeral, as well as leaders within the Socialist Party of America. Jack Reed spoke at the funeral, ending his speech with some of Haywood's quotes. If the workers are organized, all they have to do is put their hands in their pockets, and they have got the capitalist class whips. A strike is an incipient revolution. Incipient revolution. Many large revolutions have grown out of a small strike. Remember that you are fighting more than your own fight. You're fighting the entire working class. Oh dear. 
What's changed? Uh, the Civil War has changed quite a bit, apparently. We're going to find out how much. We're only in May just yet, so we're going to see what happens. History has a habit of ignoring negative traits of the victors. This is true. We'll see what happens. You're trying to work on that supply issue we have with the infantry equipment, which we're not really dealing with super well. Do, 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 do. Try and deal with the infantry equipment shortage. We'll get some bonus infantry equipment later on anyway, so it's okay. The violence. Oh boy. Fist fights and even shooting are starting to become a regular occurrence. Popularity changes pretty pretty heavily. Papal Conflave, Kudia Tat and Siam, and Annie Kenny is elected chairman. Oh, Annie Kenny. Oh, Annie Kenny, you crazy-eyed woman. I really want to try and get the whole Mosley thing and overthrow Union Britain. That'd be really cool. No one remembers America's founding fathers and slave owners. This is true. Fun fact about... Uh, jo um, tell you this in a second. Great heat wave, 36. A heat wave struck the U.S. Oh, that's going to make things pissed off. Fun fact about Jefferson. He, he wrote so much about, you know, the importance of freedom and the right of happiness and the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and all that great, good jazz. Um, but obviously, and he was uh, well known as being, like, okay with black people, but he was a slave owner and also got down with the slaves, right? We know for a fact we can trace lineage. He banged, he had a, he had a favorite... Um, Black slave Bo, who he banged on the reg and had children with, but he also knocked up a bunch of his other slaves just because it, he, he liked he liked the color, apparently. So that's some fun hypocrisy there. Yeah, not great. <laughs> on, oh, Manuel, Manuel Carles assumes for control of Argentina. Oh, baby. And my Victoria 2 Spain game... I own all of this. Oh, yeah. Union Sociedad Cristiana wins the election. Oh, oh, good. Socialist Republic of Italy. That's a spicy meatball. Come on. Why do I have no... Why do we start with no soldiers? That's very weird. At the moment, it looks like... Oh, yeah, because, of course, the different parties are represented by him. Yeah, Washington wasn't happy about it, but it wasn't the only one. 29 plus 6 is 35. Okay. Or we have 33. It's 39%. Currently, the Socialist Party is going to win, but I'm going to join the uh, the Huey Long, I think. I want the Huey to grow long, my friend. My Huey will indeed go long, I guess. Oh, man, I really blocked back this rye. God damn. Expand airports. Yes. Battlefield support or air supremacy. Let's get battlefield support. I don't really want to make a decision on the naval thing until I have to. Let's go. I'm pretty sure there are no other choices, are there? Poland likes a new king. Let's make sure there's no hidden spicy things that I'm missing. Violence against politicians. For some time now, violence between supporters of various parties is now reaching candidates. Since the lies of both Huey Long and Jack Reed have occurred, though both failed. Several more local politicians have been stabbed during a campaign rally. Moreover, many from extremes are both turning a blind eye to violence. Great. More violence. Hooray. Exciting. Oh, it's August. Blood in the streets of Shanghai. That's too bad. This cannot be allowed to stand. Remove national movement. Gain NX war goal against the Triad Syndicate. Uh, I don't care. That's too bad. <laughs> ah, it's a shame. I don't care, though. So it's fine. Indochina declares independence. Ooh, Mongolia's growing or losing, as the case may be. Ooh, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna see things. It's important, guys. Remember, we're getting close to the election, which means we're getting close to the Civil War. It's coming soon. The actual election in the U.S. is coming soon as well. Less than a month. Make sure you get out there and vote. I, unfortunately, um, have missed the registration period. I meant to, and I missed the registration period, so I'm not able to vote. Because I'm an overseas voter. Turns out I had to re-register. I thought I could register a moment, but I had to re-register. Didn't understand. So I don't get to vote in the U.S. election. Pretty sad. Oh, they become the Kingdom of Canada. I thought they were Great Britain. Hmm. 
Alpha support. Do the same thing and then doing the moment and say, yeah, that's right, you're fine, Chief. That is indeed correct. I'm gonna go Huey Long, though. I'm gonna make my Huey Long, my friend. Gotta get that Huey Long. We're so close. It's almost time. My god, is my party unpopular? This is ridiculous. But we're gonna regain the- You defended democracy! You get out of here. You get out of here! Defending democracy. You're, you call your Huey Long. Gone with the wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. If you go AUS, then Pelly is the only way. What? I don't even know who Pelly is. They put a lot of boot a bunch of previously registered voters. Yeah, it's not great. Pelly died in 65. He was a spiritualist and fascist. It was published as a public example of what would later be called a near death experience. Seven Minutes in Eternity was a big essay in 29. Huh. Oh. And he founded the Silver Legion, the Fascist League, and he ran for president as a candidate for the Christian Party. Uh, he was since 15 years and for sedition and released in 1950. An agitator without a significant following. Probably is the Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory Path. And also, <laughs> Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory of... I like, I like that though. Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory... What's the lyrics? Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory of the... Coming of the Lord. Oh god, I started playing. I was on the Wikipedia. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He's trampling out the vin- Jesus. Oh, Shanghai. Trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He half loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. <laughs> Alright, that's me for the first episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know if you want to see more of Hearts of Iron or you want me to go with Stick to Victoria or whatever you want me to do or any suggestions at all. I really appreciate it. Do check out my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me monetarily or in general, check out Discord if you're interested in supporting me communitarily. I was Algernon continue to be and this has been Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich. Bye-bye.